Hey guys, so I just got back from the theater from seeing two movies now. Um, the first movie I saw was the Fantastic Four reboot, remake, or whatever you want to call it. Going into this movie, I was kind of looking forward to it. Mainly because it was being directed by Josh Trank, the guy that made Chronicle. And this was his second film. Uh, you know, it's kind of a big step uh into a bigger budgeted film for him but I was like I like Chronicle I thought he did a good job and he did a really good superhero movie uh, his first attempt it was a found footage movie at it at that and that was actually really good um and I was like alright I want to see what he can do with um the Fantastic Four when he's given a bigger budget and everything else and then it, I also saw it was being you know starring Miles Teller and people like Miles Teller and uh Michael B. Jordan Two guys that are up and coming uh, actors that are going to have a big, you know, become big names in the industry for the next couple of years. I mean, they're in a lot of fucking movies right now as it is. Um, but then when the reviews started popping up, that's when I started to get worried. Really, really worried. Right now, this movie st stands at a 9% on Rotten Tomatoes. I'm like, holy shit. How bad can this movie be? There's no way this movie could be that bad. I was like, maybe the critics are just being a little too harsh on this movie. Especially when this movie had a lot of production his, uh, production problems. Um, and I actually didn't read too much into the production problems until before I saw the movie. And they're kind of interesting. Um, you know, it was very weird. Like, there would be real problems that, like, apparently... Josh Trank was being a dick to everybody on its set uh, and destroying sets and everything like that for no apparent reason. Uh, there was reshoots that because the studio executives apparently did not like the movie. Uh, there was the whole weird, the stupid fucking controversy about Michael B. Jordan being casted as a human torch because he's black. Fucking, that's the dumbest. That, I don't even want to get into that. That's fucking retarded. Um... And then, you know, like I said, you got all those problems. I'm like, I don't know. Maybe, like, as I was reading into the production problems, I'm like, this could be an interesting mess of a film. It could. Like, I'm interested in how this movie ended up, uh, like, with all these supposed production problems. And you know what? I'm going to repeat what I said on my Facebook. And I'm not using hyperbole here. When I say this, I am not joking either. I am. I'm not. I promise you, I'm not. This movie is one of the, if not the worst comic book film I've seen in my whole fucking life. It's one of the worst. It makes Batman and Robin look like The Godfather. I am not making that up. This movie was terrible. Fucking awful. I just sat there half the time in the theater going, what the fuck happened to this film? It's like, I don't know who the fuck to blame for it. It's like, I don't. It's like, I can't decide who the hell, you know, who's who's at fault? The actors? The director? The studio? The writers? I have fucking no clue. What happened to this film? It's a fucking disaster. I have never seen a film, you know, so much wasted potential fucking wasted this movie was fucking terrible and all right i'll tell you this right now there's one good thing about this movie i did like and this should tell you how bad this movie is when this is the only thing i liked about this fucking thing this movie for some reason got a pg-13 rating what i mean when i say pg it's for some reason there are scenes where people's heads explode and there's blood and guts and all, or blood and, like, just blood everywhere. And they darken the color of the blood to make it look more darker, so then they can get away with it. Fuck you, that's still blood. Fuck you, that should deserve you an R rating, you assholes. Um, if you're gonna do that, make it an R rating, not a PG-13. Especially after seeing the movie I saw after that, and seeing that got a rated R and this got a PG-13, that's a big fuck you from Hollywood for, for me. The rating system makes no goddamn sense. But anyways, I liked the whole thing. I was like, man, this movie's getting really violent. That's like the only parts where I was actually entertained. Again, that's the only thing that was fucking entertaining for me. 
Where did this movie go wrong? Where the fuck did I, do I start? The acting in this movie is horrendous. Absolutely horrendous. It got bad performances out of Miles Teller, Michael B. Jordan. Almost every fucking single person in this movie did not give a fuck about what they were doing. Nobody did. It, nobody had great... And it, nobody, none of them had chemistry with each other at all. They didn't... I didn't believe one single relationship in this fucking movie. Um, I could, the, if, if I could name one particular actor that was pretty terrible, I thought the guy who played Victor Von Doom was pretty fucking terrible. Um, Malice Teller does seem like he's trying, but he kind of does... He pretty much can tell he doesn't really give a fuck about what he's doing. He just wants to get... He just wants a fucking paycheck. Um... And it's so fucking retarded. It's so sad because they're like, you see all these talented people in this movie and you're like, they really do. They just don't give a fuck about this movie. I could never, I've never seen actors give less of a fuck about what they were doing in a movie in a long goddamn time. Um, this movie is a, is a fucking, when I say it's a mess, it's a movie that, felt like a huge chunk of it was fucking missing. I am not joking. It feels like a whole probably hour of this movie was missing. Like, there's stuff that just come out of nowhere and just, you're just supposed to accept it and go with it. Here's a good example. Halfway through the movie, it fast forwards to a year later. Um, after, it's right after they get their fucking powers. It fast forwards to a year later. I don't know why, but then when you fast forward to a year later, with the exception of Miles Teller, all of them are working for the military for no unknown reason, and for some reason they go along with it, even though people like Sue Storm are against working for them. They're still working for them, and somehow they still they built a teleportation uh, machine that took them years to build. <coughs> In under a year, <coughs> they sorry. In in a span of a year, they're able to build a teleportation machine that they took years and years and years to build in the first place. The first, when they built the first uh, teleportation machine, it took them years and years and years and years and years. It took different people to work with. It only took them a year. Somehow they build it. They build a new one, and like I said, there's just at that point, there's at that point, there's no character, you know, characterization of any of these people. There's no chemistry between anybody, and it doesn't fucking help when they fucking cut to a year fucking later. It makes no sense. <laughs> they basically just it felt this is what this movie felt like. Is what this is the best way I can put it. Is the first half of this movie felt like the first film in a series, like the Fantastic Four series, where it introduces all these characters and it tries to, um, tries to make you know you care about these characters, but fails. <laughs> but then the second half, when it cuts to a year later, felt like they also spliced in the sequel to this film <laughs> in in the last half of the fucking film because. Then, okay, let's get into this. Fucking Doctor Doom. There's a good reason why you don't see him much in the trailers. You want to know why? He's only in the movie for less than 20 minutes! I am not making this shit up. I swear Venom had more time in Spider-Man 3 than fucking Doctor Doom did. Honestly, he's just a throwaway villain. The most iconic villain in fucking Fantastic Four is a throwaway villain. Think about that one for a second, people. <laughs> He literally is thrown in there because I swear this is the only reason he was because the, the the filmmakers went oh shit we gotta introduce a villain because not until like I swear like I swear to God like an hour and twenty minutes in this movie he do, into an hour and forty minute movie he, does he appear as Doctor Doom out of nowhere he he has all these powers he has. No explanation. He has all these powers and is killing people for you no know, unknown reasons that you know never are brought up because there is no characterization whatsoever of anybody in this film. This movie is fucking terrible, and 
The CGI, by the way, is awful on this damn thing. The thing looks like a cartoon. He looks literally like a cartoon. The... Michael Chiklis, as the thing, looked more realistic than this fucking thing ever did. Oh my god, Doctor Doom looks terrible. Holy crap. He looks even worse than he did in the uh, the on sta or the behind the scenes photos that I saw. He looks really bad. Like it's I swear I was watching a cartoon half the fucking time watching this thing. It's awful. It's like the best example of how CGI is fucking terrible. This movie was awful. I don't know what the fuck happened to this thing. I don't. And also the dialogue is terrible in this movie. Like at one point Sue goes, Oh, well, it tells it tells Victor Von Doom, he says, Well, we got a Doctor Doom over here. I'm like, ha 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 <laughs> And then there at one point when uh, Ben Grimm is uh they show him him when he was younger, his brother's beating on him and he goes, It's clobbering time he never fucking says it either in the movie. Like, there are a lot of parts... Of, like, I watched the trailers again, and a lot of the scenes in the trailers are missing from this fucking movie. That should tell you, again, that a large chunk of this movie probably was taken out, and I think, that, I think it's studio interference, and, like... Like, maybe there would have been more scenes with Victor Von Doom or Doctor Doom or something like that explaining how his transition into becoming an evil guy, that might have helped to, to the point that you would actually give a fuck about a villain, the villain being in this movie. Um, like, literally, his transformation comes out of nowhere. He pops up, like, he, like, alright, he disappears for half the movie and then pops back up and he's Doctor Doom. I am not making that up. Like, he disappears and then the next thing time you see him, he's Dr. Doom. Out of nowhere. Like, he's normal per normal Victor Von Doom, and then he's, the next scene, fucking Dr. Doom. It makes no fucking sense. God, this movie was awful. It was a mess. <laughs> I don't know what, like I said, I don't know what happened. I don't. I don't know if it was studio interference. I don't know if it was Josh Trank being a dick. Maybe that's why everybody acted like they didn't give a shit about anything they were doing was because Josh Trank was being a dick. Maybe that's why. I don't know. Like, <laughs> I don't, like, I, I, I don't, there's not much else to say about this movie. Don't fucking see it. Don't. Don't. If you, listen to the critics. I, I, like, literally, when I was left the theater, when I left the theater, and I had a little bit of break between two movie, the two movies I saw, I went to the concession stand, and the girl was asking me, trying to be, oh, Jesus, the person that was up at the concession stand was trying to be conversational with me and say, hey, what are you going to see? And I said, I just saw Fantastic Four. And like, how was it? I said, it was fucking terrible. And his, they're like, really? Why? I, said, I was telling them exactly why. They said, that's exactly what the people that were leaving the theater were saying. I said, I'm not the only one. Don't fucking see it. Don't give this fucking piece of shit a the money. It, you know, so we won't get a fucking sequel. Maybe, just maybe, Marvel will take the rights back from uh, 20th Century Fox so we can get a decent, hopefully, Fantastic Four movie from Marvel. I They haven't, you know, they took the rights for Spider-Man. Hopefully they can take the rights for fucking Fantastic Four. Hopefully. Anyways, yeah. Uh, as far as trailers, <coughs> Damn it. Hold on a second. Uh, as, far, <coughs> as far as trailers, I got the Deadpool trailer. Um, I, again, I know a lot of people really hope, have a lot of hope for this movie. Yeah, I do too. This looks like it could be fun. Um, it wasn't as much like breaking the fourth wall in that trailer as I thought it would be. Because I know, that, you know, I don't, as much, the only thing I know about the comic, or the <laughs> comic book hero or about Deadpool is that he's a guy that loves to be a wisecracker and break the fourth wall a lot. And that's pretty much all I know about him. Um, the only part in the trailer that he did break the fourth wall, and that was pretty goddamn funny. This this line was pretty funny. When they're um, transforming, or uh, they're going to put him in a suit, he says, whatever you do, don't make the suit green or animated. That made me laugh. That was pretty fucking funny. I, I'll give you that. And it's like... 
shows that, like, in the beginning, that it looks like it's going to be, like, one of your stereotypical dramas where he has a family and he's about to ha he has cancer and then he becomes Deadpool for some reason. I don't know. It looks like it'll be all right. It looks, it's one of those movies I, I know a lot of people are looking forward to. It. I hope it is good. Uh, you know, luckily this time he ha he has a messed up face in this in this one, uh, but this time he, you know his mouth isn't sewn shut. So there you go. Um, I know some people were so pissed about Wolverine, and oh my, like, and once I learned about what, you know, Deadpool, who Deadpool was, I sat there going, why the fuck would they do that? They knew that people would be pissed about that. That's the only reason why, you know, you know, people love, uh, Deadpool is, like, one of the things they love about Deadpool is that he's a very witty, very foul mouth kind of guy, and then you show his mouth shut. That made no fucking sense in the Wolverine movie. That made no fucking sense. Um, and the other trailer I got was the new trailer for Last Witch Hunter. Eh, it looks like, I don't know, it looks like your generic fantasy action movie of a Finn Diesel. Doesn't look very good. Um, it looks like they're trying to do a toned down version of Hansel and Gretel Witch Hunters, which I actually liked, so fuck you if you didn't. Um, I, I mean, I know I'm in the minority, I know a lot of people hate that movie, but the movie was actually a lot of fun. Uh, but this one starred Vin Diesel and doesn't look very good. Uh, I just don't care about it. Anyways, that's as far as trailers. Don't fucking see Fantastic Four. I'm telling you, don't, don't. I'll be back a little bit here with another review in a couple